Welcome to the Porn Reboot Podcast, where you get practical tips to gaining control over your porn or sex addiction. We help ambitious men end their out-of-control sexual behavior with pornography, sex, and masturbation so that you can maximize your life, perform at your potential, and remain in control in the driver's seat, which is where you have to be in order to gain or maintain the success you want in life. I'm your host, J.K. Amazi, Certified Sex and Porn Addiction Recovery Coach. Welcome to the episode. Today we're going to talk about investing in yourself. I've spoken about this before, but it bears repeating. Now we have a program we're developing called the Financial Reboot Program, which works on the area of your reboot capital that has to do with managing your money and your finances so that you are not in a place where you're constantly stressed out or your past issues and trauma with money are not causing you to engage in your out-of-control behavior. This includes brothers who, anytime they get money, if you're one of those brothers who you get triggered, like you get money and you're already thinking of, how am I going to spend it on chat sites? How am I going to spend it with escorts? How am I going to spend it with girls? That's a horrible way to live your life. I can assure you that when you learn how to manage your money and you learn how to understand the energy of money, excuse the woo-woo term, but I'm going to go deep into that within the Financial Reboot Program, your life is going to be so much easier. And yes, your level of happiness will go up. Money does make you happier. It does make you happier when your mom or your dad hits you up and goes like, hey, I've outlived my savings. I can't afford to pay for my insurance. I can't afford to pay for this hip replacement. I can't afford to pay for this health issue. And you're there to help them. They helped you when you were fucking helpless, when you were a little baby, and you couldn't do anything. You couldn't wipe your ass. You couldn't do anything. Your parents supported you. They helped you out. Some of you are grown ass folks, and your parents are still bailing you out once in a while. So, you know, brothers ask, what should I invest in? A dude has like, $10,000, $15,000. And he's like, what should I invest in? What should I invest? What should I, should I invest in gold? Should I invest in this? You should not invest in any of those things. You shouldn't. You do not have the expertise to start trading stocks. You do not have the expertise to start getting into real estate. And yes, you can learn how to do it. If you already have the expertise in it, you've lost all your money before and you're starting from scratch and you know where to put in the money, then by all means, go ahead and do that. But if you do not have expertise, do not fall for the one case study that somebody put out there that says, hey, let me show you how my client went from having $0 or invested their last $5,000 and turned that $5,000 into $500,000. You are not that person. You do not know the true story. For all you know, that person who is selling that might be lying. That happens a lot. Sometimes they're not being straight about it. Sometimes they didn't tell you that, yeah, they started with that amount, but they lost it and you know a whole bunch of things happened and they got it back and then well we're just going to focus on the fact that they originally had five thousand dollars the most important thing for you to invest in is in yourself especially when you get some money on hand why because you are your biggest asset you are the thing that regardless of everything it doesn't matter how the market goes it doesn't matter how stocks a real estate market, gold, doesn't matter what you're into. You are the one thing that can appreciate in value. You are the one thing that you have direct control over. You don't have direct control over the market. You don't have direct control over stocks. Now, don't get me wrong. I invest in all these different things. I'm just saying that I'm able to be at the point where I can invest in these things because I invested in myself first. And a lot of people miss that. If you are insecure, if you do not have some sort of marketable skill, if you hate yourself, if you are lazy, if you are uncertain of what to do and how to move forward, you've got to work on yourself first. You've got to have the right foundation to move forward. Let's talk about skills first of all. You have to have some sort of marketable skill. doesn't matter what it is, whether it is sales, whether it is copywriting, whether it is marketing, whether it is welding, whether it is laying concrete, whether it is making pavements. God, there's a dude I met up in New Mexico. Makes amazing, just beautiful pavements, beautiful high-end pavements for wealthy individuals' homes. He like makes the the floors of their of their garages. I mean, these things are beautiful custom-made floors. I love them. High-class work, high-class, high-end trade. Like This guy, you can tell that he's worked on his skill to perfection. I know people who build basements 
like high-end basements, beautiful craftsmanship, whatever it is that your skill is, make sure it is something marketable and become very good at it. A lot of y'all are not doing that. We have people in our program who they mow lawns, they do landscaping, they do roofing, they're in sales. I have some people who are therapists, who are coaches, who are doctors, and all of them are masters of their craft. They are not half-assing it. They're not okay at it. They have really put their energy into it, and they really invested in themselves and thus, they're able to do whatever they want to do right now in their lives. They're able to like join my program. It's not even an issue. They're not like, can I do a payment plan? They're like, yeah, well, it, this is going to help me. You're a master at what you do, and that's who I invest in. And I don't need to think twice because I can afford it. Gentlemen, you, 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 your body, that's another thing. So we've talked about skill sets. Go out and do that. In my case, I went out and I sold door-to-door. -door. I could have stopped selling door-to-door -door after my third year. But I continued to do it because I saw that it wasn't about learning how to sell. I was a sucky salesman for many, many years. People would say, oh, you're such a good salesman. And if somebody tells you you're a good salesman, but they didn't buy from you, they're lying to you. <laughs> but it was who I was becoming in the process of picking up those skills. I was very introverted. I wanted to put myself out there. I wanted to challenge myself. I wanted to face my fears. I was afraid of strangers. I was afraid of the things that could happen to me. I was afraid of the big bad world. I was afraid that people were out to get me. I was afraid of like, you know, stranger danger. So I was like, fuck it. I'll go into strangers' homes. I'll be the stranger people are scared of. <laughs> I'll be the guy knocking on your door and you're just like, what? What's this, you know, this six foot jack dude with dreadlocks doing in front of my home? And I grew. I learned how to overcome my fears. I learned how to think on my feet. When somebody opened the door and had a gun on them and they're like, what you doing here, boy? I knew what to say immediately off the top of my head. And I loved building up that skill because I did not have it. I found it to be an admirable trait. And so I kept coming back year after year after year. I learned how to work hard. I was very, very lazy. Even while I was doing that, I was lazy for many years. I learned how to work 13, 14 hour days, day after day after day. I learned how to go without technology. When we first started, there was no GPS. There was nothing. I just had a Nokia brick phone and a map. I had to go to a county. I had to get the county map. I had to learn how to read the county map and find my way around places. I had to build relationship with stranger and I had to live in the community. I traveled all across the United States, learned how to live in different people, learned how to just struggle to leave my home, my trailer, wherever I was at with $5 in my pocket and come home with $1,400, with $700, just nothing, just from what I had in my pocket. I learned how to be truly self-reliant and self-sufficient. I built character. These are the things that you learn, gentlemen, when you invest in yourself. I built character. I became a certain type of person. If I said I was going to do something, I did something. If I said I was going to stay out 13 hours, I stayed out 13 hours. If I said I was going to hit a certain number, I did it. And I came face to face with my insecurities, with my fears, with the dishonest part of me, with the fearful part of me, with the part of me that was lacking in integrity. That's how you build character. You go out there and put yourself in situations that exposes it. And you have to face, you have to face it and deal with it and mold yourself into a certain type of man. But that is what I mean by investing in yourself. Because once you have that, it stays with you forever and it keeps appreciating. So you can do so via a certain environment or you can do so through mentors. You find people who have those admirable skills, but people who can actually teach them. And then you learn from them. You do this in every area of your reboot capital. All of them will help you with your finances eventually. Invest in your health. Learn about it. Learn about diet. Learn about sleep. Learn about energy. Learn about working out. Learn about how to keep on, put on muscle. People till today talk, oh, well, you know, you're just lucky, you know, black guy genetics, blah, 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 blah. And I'm just a dude that if I, if I don't go to the gym for like a week and a half, I just end up looking like shit. Like I transform so quickly, it'll make your head spin. You're just like, dude, are you the same person? Are you some weird, fat-faced, puffy, you know, JK doppelganger? Just within a week and a half. I need to go every single day. I'll have people go, oh, well, rest days for resting. I don't, I'm sorry, just I don't have that opportunity. I don't have that in my life. I've learned my body, the way things work for me. I've invested in myself, and it gives me energy. 
It keeps me positive. I know how to change my state because I understand my body. I got a long way to go with that, but I'm still learning that. But again, it keeps me sharp. It keeps me able to do things and work at a rate and at a pace that others cannot. Investing in myself. Again, guys are still like, well, JK, you know, like, you know, I really, I'm in a tough place financially. I just want to know where to put my money. We'll even have people who are just like, man, I could, I would love to join your program, man. I'd love to join your program, but honestly, things are, things are kind of tight for me right now financially. You know, I got my money tied up in like, what the fuck do you have your money tied up in? Is your money tied up in investing yourself? Oh, my money's tied up in my divorce. Then I'll go through my email. I'll search for that person's name. You know what I'll find? I'll find an email from this dude three years ago. Hey man, like my, my, my relationship is in a tough place. I've been reading your email. This email that you sent to me, brother, it's speaking directly to me. I would love to work with you. I'm like, boom, here's a link. Get on a call with my team member. I forward them your stuff. They'll talk to you. Nothing. I never hear back from the guy. Three years later, he gets on a call. Now it's too late. Now he's he's lost his his relationship. And he's like, I'm ready to do this. I've been following JK for years. JK is a real one. Blah, 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 blah. Comes time to join the program. He's like, oh, well, you know, my money's tied up in my divorce. My money's tied up in my lawyer. It's some funny shit, but this stuff happens every week. Every single week. The brother still doesn't understand the concept of investing in himself. Some of you will have money in hand that you should spend on a therapist. You will have money on hand that you should spend on something that is going to help you grow. Some of you need to go see a personal trainer, but your dumbass refuses to do that. You still want to just, oh yeah, I'll figure it out. I'm, I watch YouTube videos, bro. I watch you just shut the fuck up and go get yourself a personal trainer. You've been a fat ass for so long. These motherfuckers who are just like, oh, I'm going to get on stage next year because I'm inspired by some random influencer who is showing me how to get ripped. They're in some forever bulk, just eating and eating and eating and eating. Never seen a six pack ever. It's not been ever seen. And they're like, well, yeah, you know, like, because I just, you know, his stuff is really good. You know, like his, his YouTube stuff is, is really good. I'm like, why aren't you working with it? He has like a very affordable program. Why didn't you just get on that? Nah, man, I just use this free stuff, dude. It works for me. That's why you're still a fat ass. You're not investing in yourself. You refuse to take money out of your pocket and put it into things that are going to make you a better person. But these same dudes will try to talk to me about, let me tell you a little bit on how to invest in this. Let me tell you a little bit about, you know, there's these stuff I know about, but shut up. If I have more money than you, I'll be straight. If I have a longer relationship than you and my relationship is happier than yours if i'm doing my shit right and you're not on the same level as me i do not want to hear anything you have to say i will also tell people these things straight up because i'm sick and tired of being nice they're like hey man let me tell you something about you know they'll they'll be like your form and your your facebook stories video is not right i'm just like bro i don't i don't mean to sound gay but send me a selfie of your abs i want to see your abs if you can't show me abs, then get the fuck out of my DMs. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you've been a personal trainer for so long and your form is like this. You're 25 years old. I'm 38 years old. I got abs. I'm ripped. It doesn't matter what the fuck my form is. And you don't have it at 25. We have nothing to talk about. Find yourself individuals. Individuals who can show you the way. People who are ahead. Let me wrap this up because this just became a rant. I think I got on here to rants today. <laughs> Work on your skills. Work on your marketable skill sets. Get yourself some really good skills. Let me give you guys an example. Like I just I just told Josh, the guy who's editing this, to cut some parts of this because it was, it was a little bit too much and I kind of ran out, ran out of steam. Josh is an example of a guy who has built up a really great marketable skill. This dude is great at editing and making my audio awesome. I have no desire to let him go. Just month after month after month after month after month, he does amazing things. He understands how I speak, what my voice is, and the things that I want to leave in and the things that I want to remove. So I'm going to shout out to Josh because he's like, we're like 400 and something episodes in. If you are looking for an amazing podcast editor, Josh has bandwidth. Josh has bandwidth. Hit me up and in your email, just say Josh podcast. That's it. Josh podcast. And I'll give you an intro. All right. Don't be a dick though. Treat him right. <laughs> so brothers, that is my rant for the day. 
invest in yourself, especially when you're starting out, you got a little bit of money. You don't need to invest in stocks. You don't need to invest in gold. You don't need to invest in real estate at first. Invest in the skill sets that is going to get you there and then put in the work. You're the asset. When you lose everything or if you lose everything, touch wood that that never happens to you. If you end up losing everything, the one thing that you can depend on is your ability to work hard and use your marketable skill to get you back up again. That's all you got. I'm JK, your brother in this struggle. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of the Porn Reboot Podcast. I'll speak to you later on in the week. If you found this episode helpful, here are four ways I can help you with your out of control sexual behavior for free. The first way is to grab a free copy of my book, Confessions of a Porn Addict, Seven Secrets of Porn Free Men at elevatedrecovery.org or visit the link in the description below this episode. The second way is if you're not sure where to start but you'd like to learn more about my team and I, if you'd like to spend time with like-minded professionals and business owners who are controlling their behavior, then join our free and confidential group, The Porn Reboot Group on Facebook. There's a link to join in the description below this episode. The third way is if you need help right now because you have a burning issue, your behavior with pornography is hurting you mentally or emotionally, you're about to lose your relationship, you want to live up to your potential, be an authentic man and free yourself from shame, guilt and underachieving, then click on the link in the description below this episode that says free coaching call. And the fourth way is to leave us a five star review if you enjoy this podcast so that we can reach more men who are struggling in silence and bring back the lessons we learn from coaching them to freedom.